Hello, and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for contracting, code reviews, and on-site training. This episode, I would like to introduce CTRE to you, although I am expecting that many of you are already familiar with it. This is the Compile Time Regular Expression Library from Hanna uh, Dusakova, which I think might be close to how her last name is pronounced. Uh, this is an amazing library that has uh, she has given many talks about at various conferences, and I will have links to those later in the episode, and I will put them in the description as well. And um, this is a project that is being considered for standardization to supplement or perhaps replace regular expressions that are part of the C++ standard library currently. And you can play with these on Compiler Explorer. They do work with real compilers today. So the first thing that I would like to demonstrate is just a very simple regular expression match for uh, an error string in C++ with the standard regular expressions. So I want to take in some sort of input string and return whether or not it is an error string. Now, the first thing that we're going to notice is, you know, passing a string view is generally speaking a pretty good idea, particularly when we literally just want a view on the string. But standard regex was never updated to work with string views in C17. So we have to be aware of that and we have to pass it a range. And then the next thing is that we need to pass this regex to it. And we're going to keep our regex pretty simple. It's just going to be something like this. We're going to say, if this contains error in all capital letters, then this is an error string. Now, at this point, you can pretty much go and uh, get a coffee, wait for a while, come back, and eventually the compiler will theoretically have compiled your very simple regex example here. And it is still compiling com according to Compile Explorer here. There we go, it finished. And it says down here, which I know is very small, uh, 22 seconds of compile time. And this has generated uh, 21,000, we, we can't even talk about instructions at this point. Like a lot of this is like, I don't, I don't even know. Um, all kinds of data encoded in here. This looks like all, what is this? All of regular expression symbols have been encoded in here. Um, it's, it's a lot of code and it took a long time to compile. And if we just wanted to do a quick comparison, I honestly have no idea how this is going to compare. We can switch to Clang and use Clang standard library and see what that looks like. Not on ARM today, though. There we go. And we'll use libc++. And again, probably time enough to go ahead and refresh your cup of coffee while you wait for your program to compile. So in some ways, regular expressions are great for uh, if you like to read during builds or that kind of thing. So this is where we're, let's see, 13,000 operations. And this one says it only took seven seconds. So it looks like it compiled much faster, but who knows about performance? All right, we're gonna take this back to GCC for the sake of our next example. Now I am going to demonstrate Hannah's CTRE. So I've got the library chosen here, CTRE trunk, and I am on GCC trunk, and I am in C++ 2A mode. It is very fair to say that her work stretches um, what is possible with compilers today, uses the latest features. So we just want to swap this out real quick, if possible. Oh, wait a minute. Before we swap this out, I want to point out a huge inefficiency in our code here, and that is this. Constructing a regex object is actually a huge runtime performance cost. So if we really wanted to do code like this, we need to be aware of this. 
and make this probably some sort of const static global something so that it is only done once and not many times whenever this code is executed if you care about performance at all. So our regex library with the standard made us consider these two things already. We needed to consider the lifetime of the regex object itself and we needed to be aware of this extra overload for regex match that lets us pass in the begin and end iterators. Okay, we've taken care of that. Now let's go to CTRE. CTRE.HPP. And then we just need to do And this compiled in 2.78 seconds, which you have to take compile times with a grain of salt um, on Compile Explorer because you have no idea what the servers are doing other than that or what round trip issues might be or something like that. But we're looking at 180 instructions compiled here. And if you really cared, you can actually walk through this code pretty much and just read the assembly. I mean, it would take a little while with this one, maybe if we had a, you know, more simplified one that just matched on a particular string or whatever. So this is CTRE. The regular expression matcher is built at compile time. And that sounds like something that should be very slow. In practice, it's probably actually much faster than using your standard library's regular expression implementation. And the generated code is considerably smaller, which is going to save you an awful lot on CPU cache pressure and reduce your binary sizes. Not only is it smaller, it's simpler code, and it doesn't have to do a bunch of jumping around and potential cache misses and that kind of thing, because it's all code that's very compact and is likely to just fit right there in your instruction cache. So I suggest strongly that you check this out. Um, a couple of URLs for you to consider. We have Hannah's official GitHub repository and we have her website with all of the talks on it that are about this if you want to know more about how it's implemented. And this is an easy to remember website, it is just compile-time.re. Now, yes, as I said before, it pushes your compiler, there are some limitations and gotchas for which different syntaxes you can use on which compilers. At the moment, I believe this syntax that I'm using here is only available on GCC trunk, um, but it is using a C++20 feature that will be coming to all compilers, and there are, I believe, also support for C++17 compilers in here if you use other versions of the syntax. So thank you for watching this episode of C++ Weekly, and I hope you give this a check.